Boo. and roads that brought me here today are whispers in time. Gregor, you must not fail us in our time of need. You must not go on like this. We have worked hard for this day. We must not forget why we are here. Gregor, your silence frightens me, Gregor. Your voice should be heard. Your hands should be numb. Your belly full. I need not such things to sustain life. Now please go away. You do not know what you need, Gregor, for if you did, you wouldn't slay me with such words. You cannot go on living this way. sounds rage with hatred, and anger soaring down from the heavens. They grow more impatient by the tick. Gregor! Honey, your father states that you are ill, but I think you must see a doctor to find that out. And is it not the case, and isn't it a fact, that by removing the furniture, we are showing that we are giving up all hope of improvement and are leaving you to your own resources without any consideration. I think it would be best if we tried to keep the room exactly in the condition it was in before, so that when Gregor returns to us, he finds everything unchanged and can forget the intervening time all the more easily. Gregor, please, your silence grows louder every day that you do not come out. My disappointment shall not provide comfort, nor shall I find comfort in my disappointment. Listen to our words, Gregor, for they become whispers in time. The voices beyond mine have not stirred in some time. My need for sustaining has grown beyond my control. I feel weak. I feel tired. My convalescence is fading. My thoughts and ideals are becoming convoluted. The voices beyond the door have stopped. Their proclivity towards my benevolence has faltered. My disdain towards the voices is becoming exhausted. I have not heard a voice in days. Has it been months? I'm not sure. I feel weak, but I must not give in. The silence grows louder. Is that what he said? A whisper in time? All those things that came to be. A whisper in time. Things I cannot shake from my mind. Moments that just flicker and die. 